Today we are going to be breaking down all of the pedals that John Mayer uses for Belief. Belief is one of those songs that if you ever get the opportunity to hear it live, you know you are going to be in for quite a treat when it comes to the solos. There always is a very wicked intro solo that John will do and then of course near the end of the song you'll either hear a really awesome kind of second solo stacked on with the first one or a really high gain powerful outro solo and in this clip and footage we're going to be looking at today, you're going to hear some incredible soloing and some unique uses of guitar pedals that are kind of specific to the 2019 World Tour era, but the concepts will carry on through the Saw Rock era, past eras, as well as eras to come as well. So this breakdown I think you guys are really going to enjoy from some awesome footage. So getting right on into everything here, this footage is from San Antonio during the North American leg of the 2019 World Tour. And I think it makes sense that we just do an ultra quick breakdown first of John's pedal board as far as at least the pedals that we're going to be looking at in today's video. All right, on your screen right now is the exact same shot of John's pedal board that I'm looking at right now. So the one thing I have to clarify first here is that this shot is from the very last show of the North American leg of the 2019 World Tour, the second leg. Now, the one difference on this pedal board that you're seeing on the screen versus the one that's in the footage that we will be looking at is that the Solo Dallas Storm is not on the pedal board. The Klon Centaur sits where the Solo Dallas currently is. During the North American leg of the 2019 World Tour, John was experimenting with the Solo Dallas Storm, especially near the very end of that leg. And on the very last show, he opted out to replace the Klon Centaur entirely with the Solo Dallas Storm. As far as the rest of the 2019 World Tour is concerned, the Storm would kind of appear on and off the pedal board, but the Klon would always stay on it. Then there just was the optional addition of the Solo Dallas Storm at that point. So that's the only difference between these shots. Everything else is going to be identical. Now, as far as this performance of Belief is concerned, we are only going to be discussing a few pedals on the board. The first one is going to be the version 1 Keeley Katana that sits above the TC Electronics Polytune 3 on a little single pedal sized riser. That clean boost is going to be incredibly important for the tone of this video and performance. The next one is going to be the Ibanez TS-10, which then goes into the Mesa Boogie Flux 5, which sits in that third overdrive portion of John's pedal board where he'd switch out different pedals to experiment with a final overdrive after generally the Klon Centaur and Ibanez TS-10. The next pedal we are going to be talking about is going to be the Providence Delay 80s. It is actually blacked out on John's pedal board. I've discussed this quite a lot on the channel, but that pedal there that'll be marked on your screen is a Providence Delay 80s. And that pretty much rounds out all the pedals that we are really concerned with for the sake of this video. Let's get into the footage and actually breaking down what we see John stepping on and the tones throughout the performance. <laughs> So while that intro solo is going on, you actually get a look at John's pedal board unlit and you can clearly see that there are two bright blue LEDs on his pedal board. The first one is for the Keeley Katana and the second one is for the Providence Delay 80s. Now the Keeley Katana is a really important pedal when it comes to belief because during the just main parts of the song, you can clearly hear that John's guitar tone, the sound of it, is a lot louder than it normally is. And in the video I did providing a handful of examples and a bit of a breakdown on how John uses the Keeley Katana, I heavily theorized in that video that for belief the Keeley Katana is on the entire time. And at the time of making that video I didn't have any actual hard proof of this, but now there you guys go, undeniable proof that John is using the Keeley Katana for belief and it is left on the entire song. And by the way, I'll link that uh, Keeley Katana breakdown video, I'll card it up above and link it in the description down below for you guys. Go check that out if you haven't already. But the katana is so important as far as belief is concerned here too because that clean boost is going to be stacking with any dry pedals that John uses for the solos as well, helping to provide him with more saturation and obviously volume going forward for those solos. So keep that in mind when we're talking about all of the different pedals that John is using for the solos. The next pedal, obviously the Providence Delay 80s being left on again for the entire performance as well. Delay 
as far as belief is concerned over the years and even just different performances from the 2019 World Tour, for example, is something that John really played around with. Sometimes he'd use it, sometimes he wouldn't. I personally heavily associate Delay with Belief, especially because of the Where the Light Is version, that intro solo where you can hear the repeats from the Pete Cornish TES, I just think sounds so great and Belief almost sounds a little empty without hearing some delay on it. And this is just one example of John using that Providence Delay 80s throughout the entire song. <laughs> Once the intro solo is done and John is transitioning into the main opening riff of Belief, you'll see him step on the Ibanez TS-10 as well as the Mesa Boogie Flux 5. So for the intro solo, John is actually stacking the Keeley Katana into the Ibanez TS-10 into the Mesa Boogie Flux 5, which makes a lot of sense because the Belief intros and solos in general are a lot higher gain compared to majority of the solos that you'd hear on any given night, especially during the 2019 World Tour. So that is the stacking of pedals that really create the main opening solo tone. It's at this point here we are actually going to fast forward until the very first solo. Now the entire time John has just had the Keeley Katana and Providence Delay 80s on, but now you will see him step on again the Ibanez TS-10 as well as the Mesa Boogie Flux 5 for the main solo. And this time it's a bit interesting as well because for the main solo of Belief, generally, you'd actually see John use the Klon Center and the Ibanez TS-10, of course, then with the Keeley Katana just being always on throughout the entire performance. However, this time he opts for a bit of a higher gain main solo for Belief with the Mesa Boogie Flux 5 and TS-10 instead of that Klon Centaur. <laughs> After the main solo is done, what's really cool about this performance is you see John turn off the Mesa Boogie Flux 5, however he leaves the Ibanez TS-10 on for the final chorus before going into that outro solo. I've seen John do it the other way where he'll turn off all drive pedals, of course just leaving on the Keeley Katana for that clean boost, and play the final solo with a more clean guitar tone like the rest of the song. But this example is just really cool because he's opting for a higher gain tone for that final chorus with the TS-10 providing a lot of drive, especially with the Keeley Katana stacking into it. <laughs> Then as the final chorus ends, John steps on the Mesa Boogie Flux 5 again, turning it back on, and then we have the outro solo, which is going to be Keeley Katana, stacked into Ibanez TS-10, into Mesa Boogie Flux 5, then of course with the Providence Delay 80s on. This is a really cool outro solo, and then I'll provide some context of different ways John would do the outro solo after we take a listen. The reason why I am so thrilled that we have this specific example to highlight with Belief from the 2019 World Tour is number one because John in general opted for a lot of higher gain tones really relying on that third overdrive pedal during this era especially to create some really great guitar tones and some of my favorite he's ever had if I'm being honest. Now during Belief for example during the Saw Rock Tour sometimes what we would see John do is just use the TS-10 and Klon Centaur of course again stacked with the Keeley Katana for those solo tones and the level of gain and just power 
that his guitar tone has during those outro solos especially isn't quite the same as it is during the 2019 world tour and this is a really interesting example too because i've never seen any footage at least until this point to make in this video of john using just the ivan sts10 and mesa boogie flux 5 in this way as i mentioned earlier on in the video a lot of times you'd see the Klon Centaur in the mix as well for those three pedals being stacked together for higher gain solos. But like I said, with the Keeley Katana being on the entire time, it makes more sense that that is what he is using for Belief. Let me know in the comments down below your guys' thoughts on this performance of Belief and John's guitar tones during Belief as well. I also will have a video going over how John uses the Mesa Boogie Flux 5 as well as the Shins Music Dumbleoid as that third overdrive. I'll be doing a little bit of a deeper dive into those higher gain, especially those outro solos, those higher gain outro solos. I'll be doing a deep dive into how he uses that with a lot more examples of footage just like this one. And this one might be a bit of an example in that video as well, just because it's very unique in how he uses it. But I'm going to have a lot more footage in the video as well. So make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video and hit that bell button as well if you want to be notified when that video on the third overdrive drive comes out but until the next time you guys thank you so very much for watching today's video especially if you made it all the way to the end i really appreciate it take care and we'll see you on the next one anyway go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what you see